there is potential here that isn't currently being tapped into. And so that means that when big investors are looking for opportunities, at the moment they're not coming into this region. And so part of what we're looking at is why that is and how we can help this region to try and change that perception to make this the, the place to invest. That might be um, protected cropping under glass houses, that might be additional processing to produce after it's left the farm gate so that you actually get a better return for that investment. And it might be the supporting services that go with agriculture. So you might have your, um, your technology type services that support agriculture and help agriculture to be more efficient and make a better return. The climate's fantastic, the soils are fantastic, you've got access to really high quality, high security water that provides growers with uh, high certainty that they're going to be able to get meet their contracts and take their produce to market. I think that in some ways it's easier to come in at a time when people recognise that there is a need for change. I think if you come in trying to get people to see a different way that they could be doing things, if they're not yet ready to hear that, that can be a barrier in and of itself. By no means do we expect the dairy industry to disappear from this region, you know, it's been such a critical part of the region for such a long time, but there is opportunity for other investment to come in. And so that provides a real opportunity for us to try to show people a, a pathway forward to a more sustainable future in the region. One that involves a range of different industries and activities. Geelong has been through a similar type of a transformation, it's really in the middle of that transformation. There was a real identity crisis around Geelong about, well we've always been a manufacturing town, this is how we, how we support our families, what are we going to do now? And I pick up some of those same types of themes here in the GMID, they're really faced with that crisis of, well this is part of my identity, this is who I am. How can we move forward as a family and, and have a future if we don't do what we've always done? And I think that's a very difficult challenge for people to face. <laughs>